In other news tonight, Killeen businesses are raising concerns over a popular road slated for improvements. The city hopes it will bring in more people to the downtown area, but businesses feel otherwise. Six News reporter Cindy Deshawn is here to help explain the city's plan and why many business owners aren't happy about it. What'd they tell you, Sydney? Yeah, Bailey, the proposed improvement costs over $60 million. It includes medians, turn lanes, bike lanes, on-street parking, sidewalks, landscaping, lane reductions, and more. Businesses say the plan looks good on paper, but they believe it will hurt the city more than it will help. It's not a matter of if, it's going to be a matter more of when. Because of the complexity of this type of project. A $63 million project hoping to bring growth across Rancier Avenue in Killeen. These type of projects have shown that that's what they do. Businesses feel otherwise, saying the proposed project comes with many issues. Uh, they want sidewalks, bike lanes, and all that stuff. This is a business area. This is not a residential area. One being at trees blocking signage. If they can't see us because there's canopy trees blocking signage, they're never going to be able to come down here and see us unless they Google us on purpose. That's the part that's going to kill us is that part. Parallel parking is another. That in itself is ridiculous. People in this town, number one, can't drive. This to me is going to make more accidents. Traffic is a big worry too. If you only got one line of travel, one lane, that's going to back up traffic, which then again is going to harm the city. Making it more difficult for delivery drivers. They would have to block a road, basically, to make a delivery. And emergency vehicles. They're going to have a lot of issues trying to get in and out. Clean businesses say the money could be used in other areas. There are a lot of issues in this area with not only crime, uh, we've got homeless people, we've got these, this younger generation with all these break-ins. Uh, we could have more of a task force, more officers on site. It's all too frustrating for Erica Torres-Smith. They relocated the homeless down this way. They abandoned us. Uh, there is definitely a food crisis in this area. And now they're realizing that they can't lose it. They're trying to revitalize it. There are so many other places that we really, really could use this money. So it's absolutely absurd. And others agree. My biggest concern is them killing a lot of small businesses, taking consideration what others have said and come up with another draft because this first draft that they came up with is absolutely crazy. It will not work. Happening now, TxDOT and the City of Killeen's Engineering Division are hosting an open house to discuss the project more. It is happening at Killeen Elementary School and will go until around 8 o'clock. Those who have questions about the project are encouraged to attend. Bailey? Well, hopefully their voices and concerns can be heard. Thank you so much, Sydney.